Hello everyone, this is Pet Pet Crochets. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I crocheted this really beautiful and summery A-line mini skirt. It has a nice string of pearls detailed at the front with an elastic waistband. And for the hem of the skirt, we're going to be using a triple peacoat stitch to add a nice texture design. As always, the skirt is going to be fully customizable and it's going to be based on your measurements so you can really play around with how you want the skirt to fit and how flared you want the bottom of the skirt to be. The skirt is just so beautiful, it has a lot of movement and texture and I just can't wait to share it with you guys. If you like my content and tutorials, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I have many more videos and summer tutorials on the way very soon, so please stay on the lookout for those. If you have any projects or suggestions that you'd like to see, you can also comment in the comment section down below. Let's get started. For this skirt, I'm using the True Boo Bamboo Yarn by Line Brand. It's a DK weight 3 yarn and a 3.75 millimeter hook. I love using this yarn for summer items because it's really silky and soft and very breathable. And for the waistband area, we're going to start with a foundation double crochet stitch. So you're going to begin with a chain of 3. You're going to yarn over. Go into that very first chain you made, grabbing both the front and the back loop. You're going to pull up a loop. Now we have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through the top loop. That's going to be the foundation stitch. Now we're going to do a double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two more to finish a double crochet. And we're always going to be working into this V stitch area in the back here closest to the yarn. Let's do one more. We're yarning over, putting our hook into that V stitch, grabbing the front and the back loop, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through the top loop for the foundation stitch, and then finishing off with a double crochet. I like doing this because it avoids having to do a chain first and then going back to do the double crochet, so it consolidates the process a little bit. And basically, you're just going to keep doing this until it is your desired waistband length. I wanted my skirt to be high-waisted, so I used my waist measurement. So this was about 25 inches for me. When you're done, you're just going to straighten this out. Make sure everything's facing the same direction, like so. And we're going to join the two ends together with a slip stitch. So you're going back into that very, very first foundation stitch you made and pulling the yarn all the way through for a slip stitch. And now the two ends should be joined together like so. We're going to do a chain up of two and we're going to turn our work. And for this row, we're going to be doing a double crochet into every single stitch, including the stitch that holds the chain up of two. So into every stitch, a double crochet. I'm going to be doing a couple of rows of no increase just straight through double crochet rows since I want my skirt to be a high waisted skirt. Now for my body type, my waist area goes a little bit straight before it hits my mid waist area and my hip area and starts to increase. So I like to do about two inches of just no increase straight rows. Now this will be different for everyone as it will be based on your measurements. So if you find that you need to start increasing sooner, you can skip this portion and go straight ahead to the increase portion. Here I am just starting the next row. So we're doing a chain up of two, turning our work. And once again, I'm placing a double crochet into every single stitch, including that very first stitch that holds that chain two. So into every single stitch, a double crochet. And once again, I'm going to be doing this for a few more rows until I have about two inches in length. Here I am just showing you guys how I slip stitch to end a row. So into the top of that chain two, we're putting our hook in and pulling the yarn all the way through for a slip stitch. And that will join and end the round. And once again, we're doing a chain up of two, turning our work, and then we're doing a double crochet into every single stitch. Once we reach the end of the round, we're going to be doing a slip stitch into the top of that chain two to finish the round. I'll meet you guys back at the end. 
I just finished my row and I have about two inches so I know that it's time to get ready to start my increases. So you want to make sure your seam is in the direct center of the skirt. You're going to find the two stitches on the corners of the skirt. This is where we're going to be doing our increases and you're just going to mark it with two stitch markers like so. Now I'm going to show you how to do the increases. So you're just going to double crochet until you reach a stitch marker. And once you get to the stitch marker, you're going to remove the stitch marker and we're placing two double crochets into the very same stitch. So here's my first one. And then into the very same stitch, I'm going to add another double crochet and this will be an increase. And don't forget to put your stitch marker right back to mark off where that increase will be for the next rounds. Now you're just going to double crochet until you reach the other stitch marker where you're going to be doing another increase. So once again, I'm going to show you how to do the increase. So you're going to remove the stitch marker and place two double crochets into that very same stitch. So here's my first double crochet. And then the second double crochet for the increase. And then once again, you're going to place the stitch marker back. Now for me, my hip width is about 35 inches. So I did increasing and non-increasing rows. So I alternated between a row of increasing and a row of just double crochets, no increases into the stitch markers. And I did that until it was about one to two inches past my hip width, so about 37 inches. I did this because I wanted my skirt to be more of a line rather than fitted around my hips. And I want to flare out a little bit more. So if you want to make it more of a tighter fitted skirt, you would just do it up until it is around the width of your hips. This is what I have so far. The bottom edge measures 18 and a half inches because it's folded. So that multiplied by two is the 37 inches that I wanted. Now I removed my stitch markers. I'm just gonna keep adding no increase rows, just regular double crochet rows until it is my desired length. My desired length for the skirt was about 11 inches long. We are now going to work on the triple peacoat edging at the bottom hem of our skirt. So you're going to grab a smaller hook. I chose a 2.25 millimeter hook. And you're just going to place it where you left off at the bottom here. And do a chain up of one and turn your work. We're going to start off by doing four single crochets. So you're going to do a single crochet into the next four stitches. So here's my first, my second single crochet, the third single crochet, and the fourth single crochet. And now we're going to start doing the peacoat. So to do the peacoats, you're going to do a chain up of three. And then you're going to put your hook right back here at the front. There's two loops right there at the very front. And you're going to do a slip stitch. So you're going to grab the yarn and pull it all the way through those two loops, as well as a loop on your hook. And that's how you do a peacoat. Here's my first one. And we're going to be doing two more because I wanted three. Now back into that very same stitch, you're going to do a single crochet. And then once again, we're doing another peacoat. So we're doing a chain up of three, putting our hook back into those two loops right at the very front, the two loops right there, and doing a slip stitch. That's our second peacoat. And we're going to be doing one last one. So into the very same stitch, another single crochet. And once again, we're chaining up three. Hook into those front two loops right at the base of the single crochet stitch. And then doing a slip stitch. And that is our third peacoat. Now we're going to do a chain up of one and we're going to do the pattern all over again. So for the next four stitches, a single crochet. And when we get to that fourth single crochet, we're going to be doing our three peacoat stitches. So here is the third single crochet and the fourth single crochet. And then we start the peacoat. So you're going to do a chain up of three, put your hook back into the base of that single crochet, those two loops at the very front, and do a slip stitch. And then once again into that very same stitch, a single crochet, and then one more peacoat. So chain up of three, 
hook into the base of the single crochet through those two front loops and you're going to do a slip stitch and one last time into the very same stitch a single crochet then we do a chain up of three and into the base of the stitch through those front two loops we're going to do a slip stitch and this will be the pattern that you repeat all the way across the hem of the skirt for the triple peacoat stitch hem. So you're just going to keep going all the way around. When you're done, you're just going to slip stitch back into that chain one that you did at the very beginning. And then you can do a chain up of one and cut the yarn and pull it through and secure. And that will end the triple peacoat hem. This hem is just so dainty and delicate and adds a really nice touch and texture to the skirt. You can also do just a single peacoat if you'd like, but I thought the triple peacoat was a nice touch. This portion is optional, but I'm going to be adding an elastic to the waistband of the skirt. So I'm measuring out about 11 inches or about one and a half inches less than my waist measurement and sewing the two ends together. And then I'm going to start off with a slip knot. And I'm placing the elastic around the waistband first before I start crocheting around it. So you're going to place your hook into any stitch at the top of the skirt. This is the waistband of the skirt. And I'm going to pull the slip knot through. Then you're going to kind of hold the elastic in place and go under the elastic into the stitch and do a single crochet. So you're doing two single crochets into every stitch and don't forget to pull up your yarn so that it is accommodating the elastic and it's not too tight otherwise the elastic will fold over. So into every single stitch you're doing two single crochets. You're going under the elastic, grabbing the yarn, pulling it up to the height of the elastic and doing a single crochet. This might take a little bit of practice and trial and error because the elastic does move around a lot, especially towards the end. But I just like to do this over having a tie at the waistband. But of course, if you'd like to do a tie instead, you can do that as well. I just wanted an elastic. Here's how I did that string of pearls detail at the front of the skirt. So what I did was I cut out a long piece of yarn and then I split it so that it was about two or three ply or about two or three strands of yarn together otherwise it would have been too bulky and too big to fit through the hole of the pearl and I'm using a really small size hook here this is a 0.6 millimeter hook then I figured out how much distance I wanted between the pearls so I decided I want to do about 20 chains so I started with a slip knot on my hook, did 20 chains, added my first pearl. I'm going to show you right now how I added the pearls. So I just finished my 20 chains and I'm pulling the yarn through the pearl. I'm holding the pearl so it's fairly secure at the base here and I'm doing a slip stitch. So I'm grabbing the yarn and pulling it all the way through the loop on my hook, doing a chain and just tightening it so that the pearl isn't moving around. And then I'm going to continue with the number of chains that I wanted. So I wanted 20, so I'm going to be doing 19 more chains. And this is basically what I did with all of the pearls on this string or this piece of yarn here. And at the end, I did one extra chain and just pulled the yarn through and trimmed it off trimmed off the excess yarn if that makes sense I hope that made sense it was a little bit of a trial and error to figure out how I want to do this but the end result was really beautiful I'm sure there was an easier way that I could have done this but this is just what I did and it worked out for me if you have any questions or difficulties with this portion feel free to leave any questions in the comments and I will definitely get back to you also, as you can see here, I didn't leave myself enough yarn, so I'm struggling a bit towards the end. So just make sure you cut yourself a nice long piece of yarn so you have ample room to work with. Now I'm just placing the uh, string of pearls 
where I want it to be. The seam of the skirt is in the center at the back because I want this string to be at the front. Now to secure this to the skirt, I didn't have any specific technique. I kind of just went with it and figured it out as I went. So basically what I did was I pulled the ends through the base of the waistband and then I split the ends and made knots around the stitch. So here I am making the knots. I made about four or five, made them really tight. And then at the end, I used my darning needle and wove in the ends and trimmed off any remaining pieces of yarn. And then I did the same exact thing for the other side. This actually held up really well. It was okay through blocking and I also wore it a handful of times and had no issues. Once everything is nice and secure and all your ends are woven in, this is what your final product should look like. I just love the look of the pearls against this beautiful sky blue color. This yarn is a absolute summer staple. This is a true boo bamboo yarn. It allows for so much movement, especially with a skirt like this one where it's a little bit A-line. And it just looks so cute, elegant, and dainty, and it's perfect for summer. I got so many compliments on the skirt, and I just love it so much. As usual, I have many more summer clothing tutorials on the way, so please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned. Bye everyone!